Let's have some relationship drama. Previously on Last Stop. Any good old catch up. Another shot. We're going to do another round of interviews. Just the two of you. Well, I've never been so embarrassed. Is this where I can expect the big lecture on why I'm such a bad parent? No, you're not a bad parent, Mina. You just feel like you'd rather be somewhere else. I can't do this again. I'm married. Sorry. So is that it? God That's damn. It. Felix? Oh, yeah. Someone left a little note on her doorstep. Someone has been spying. I reckon it's the uh, the daughter. Wendy, I think her name was. Bum, 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 bum. What's up, Larisek? Miss Hughes, we've been over the data gathered from our previous examination, and we've called you back in as we want a little more clarity on a certain issue. It's important that you answer honestly, as we need to calibrate our expectations. On she's distracted now, and she's also in a bit of a fight for a promotion. With the new girl. Oh, what if it's the new girl doing this to mess her up? Oh my god, what if she's ruthless? Oh, it's gonna be, isn't it? It's gonna be Amy. She's a grown-up girl. She's gonna think it's Wendy and it's gonna be Amy, dude. No, please! Miss Hughes. Really? Wow. Uh, but... Sorry? Are we a psychopath? Well, does it? <laughs> um, sorry, what? What did you say? Sorry, can you repeat the question, please? That's okay. I think we have what we need. I can answer another one. Have a good day. Oh, I should have blagged it. I should have just said yes or no, shouldn't I? Also, I totally regret picking this outfit. Awful. Hughes. I mean, look us. at the back on this thing. The way that it hangs. Over my non-existent high butt like that. No, terrible. Mina, you've just had your second exam. How'd it go? Listen here, Amy. I'm going to ignore her. Everything okay here? I was just telling Amy how impressed I was with her results. Seriously stellar work. Thank you, sir. Well done to you. I'll be looking forward to reviewing yours, too. Shut up, Hale. Uh... That's me. I got around. That's run. so toxic Amy. for a boss to do that and like yes. make you war against each Best other, of luck, right? Mina. I can't believe I'm up against a legend like you. Like, look how sweet she's being, dude. It's so her. Now cut the crap. If you want this, then don't try and be my friend. We're enemies in this. Act like one. Okay. Hmm. I'm in this all the way. Are you? She's losing her mind. I don't feel like she would take public transport though. I would imagine that kind of job pays pretty well and probably comes with like a car privilege. License to live, the all new MK12. Looks terrible. <laughs> Looks like an awful car, actually. Shaped like a box. It's a cardboard box on wheels. Do you remember when you used to make a car as a child? Sit in a cardboard box and go vroom vroom. You need the new MK12. Dude, I just love that this is set, like, in London. This so this looks like so many streets, you know? It's nice. It's nice to... Why am I walking so weird? I'm a limp. Right? I'm like dragging my legs here. Gangly. Gangly. She feeling okay? Oh. Hi. I thought we weren't doing this anymore. I need to talk to you. The other day I got left a note on my front doorstep. A threatening note. Someone knows about us and is trying to use it against me. Someone's blackmailing you. So that's why you ended this? Um, no. No, this was after that. Well, anyway, uh, we need to take it to the police. I told you He's not like, to that's why she doesn't us. want me. <laughs> Are you kidding me? My daughter isn't a blackmailer. Well, who else could it be? Who else would know? 
I just need to talk to her. <sighs> look, there's no way I'm letting you accuse her. Yeah, it does like kind of look like some of the walks actually. I you should leave. Um. Just tell me where I can find her. We'll have a friendly chat, and that'll be the end of it. <sighs> can you hear yourself? I'm done with this. Stay away from my daughter, okay? Wow, listen, oh. Felix. Just because you ain't getting none no more, right? Boy's getting stressed. Oh, spider! That's a good little callback. Yeah, that's got. I mean, those are the suspects, right? Husband, maybe? I mean, he looks pretty annoyed lately. I mean, what is this thing, you know? Juicy, though. You said you're going to be home at seven. Not even a text. This isn't good, Mina. Okay, I'm sorry. I don't know how many times I can keep putting up with the same excuses. It's, it's, it's boring. Mm. You're right. It is. It's like you don't care. I think time to be nice to Dan and respect him here, even though we're a cold ice queen everywhere else, you know? Look, I'm sorry. I'll do better next time. How many times have I heard that? I mean, seriously, it's, it's like I'm getting mugged off here. <laughs> mugged it's every off, single son. night now. Getting right mugged off. Um, oh no, I don't have a nice option. A thousand apologies. Oh, I've ruined Your dinner's it. in the oven. I've yeah, ruined it. <laughs> Mina, why? Oh no, it's going wrong and it won't give me a choice to be nice. It's okay, you have it. I'm not hungry. Oh, fine. Well, I won't bother cooking for you next time in that case. Sounds good to me. Oh, you can piss off. Wanker! <laughs> What the hell is wrong with you? Mystic abuse. You know, I have to say, I kind of even like that the dialogue option there, it's there's no way for you to force her to be nice, where it's that the three dialogue options are all bad, but it's like three bad things. It's like aggressive, it's like martyrdom and something else. Which is almost just because just because it has dialogue options doesn't mean it has to be you affecting the story. Because actually the character themselves, it's like when you you know when you're in a fight or something and it's like you're actually not in control of what you're saying or something. And even in your mind you're like, I don't want to say this thing, but th these things are going to be said, right? And that's kind of how it feels when it gives you those three options. And it's like, but actually you don't really have an option because she's, you know, annoyed or upset or stressed out. So she can't control herself. Pretty cool. Is Square. Previously on Last Stop. Mum's not well. She's been having some tests and they've not come back great. We need to sort out what we're doing here long term. What if we let you go? Right now, I'm happy where I am. Why do you care about Becky asking me out? Oh, yeah. <laughs> my alien yeah, therapist. Like, yeah. So it's we got my two dads, my alien therapist, and then what would Mina's be? You like her. Uh, like a Jerry Springer chat show kind of thing. It's like a Dr. Phil, the amount of drama going on. Ah, oh, the, uh, the owl at the window. Oh, creepy. I was watching you sleep. Uh, thank you, Pam, for the 250. All right, what do we got? Sorry, I forgot to reply to this. Bit late now. Let's scroll up and see. Did you get Viv a birthday present? Sorry, I forgot to reply to this. Two days later, Becky. Bit late now. Wait, look, look at the dis. I don't, th dude. I don't think we're friends. Seventh of January and then fourth of March. We didn't text Becky for two months. Huh? 
You in the smoking shelter? I can't get hold of Viv. We're, yeah, we're here. Get up, I'm waiting outside your flat. This feels very much like the only reason we're friends with each other or know each other is because we both like Viv, right? Two months not texting. That's not friends. Um, give me a minute to get dressed. Unless that's a typo or something for the dates, but... Right? Um, same outfits to choose from. We did like the pink one, right? Do you know what? Should we be bold today? Should we be bold and go with the yellow? I'm just worried I'll regret it. Like, this is very down the middle. Little green thing. This, you know, this is nice, but... Let's be... It seems like it's a sunny day. I wonder what she's gonna choose on the bottom with this. It's fine. Hey, haven't seen you in a while. Could we talk? I wanted to catch you and Viv while we're all together. About what we do long term at the pool? Or something else? Let's just wait till we get there. What's gonna happen? <gasps> dun, 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 dun. Oh yeah, how was Moist's party? Moist! It was okay. Got a bit druggy in the end. You what? You what? Oh, right. Oh yeah, did you end up asking Viv out? You hear about Moyes and Tina going at it on his dad's car. Mental. <laughs> Everyone's getting some action at the moment. What's that mean? I'm sure you'll find out soon enough. Whatever. I like that we have the uh, oh, yellow shoes on as well. Bunking again. What, have you dropped out or something? Yeah, what are you both doing? Bet you think you're both so cool. No, not really. Could never be as cool as you two. Right, Becky? Shut up, Donna. It's complicated. Yeah, looks it. Come on, Mary. Let's leave these wasters to it. Can you believe those two? Leave it. I feel like That's this game is kind of like a better this. life is strange, we all you know? have, not just you. Oh, shut up. Let's just get some food and go. Get out. Am I crazy? When did Pantsman... Why is he here now? I thought he was still at the pool. Oi, Viv! What the hell are you doing? Oh, no. That's some interesting artwork, isn't it? Instantly forget him. Uh, what are you doing? I... You, you saw that, right? Are you alright? I can't remember. Right. Look at the creepy well, If you want to stay and bang on this door. Are you sure you didn't... We're going or what? Oh, yeah. Where are we going? Did the chip... Is the chip shop still there? The cod... It says the cod father and son. Is that about to back to the future and disappear? <gasps> oh my gosh. Any other doors you want to knock on on the way? You really didn't see the stranger go into his house. It's so cool. You're actually weirder than I thought. Weren't you going to get some chips or something? Maybe stick your head in the deep fat fryer while you're at it. Funny. It was closed anyway. <laughs> you know what I think? <laughs> I think you've got a thing for that stranger. What? Oh, shut What's up. up. Benson? I've seen that little twinkly you get in your eye when you look at him. I bet you wanted to get into his house, look through his dirty laundry, sniff his pants. Oh, you're sick, you know that. This coming from you, sniff his the weirdest pants. girl in school. Don't be an asshole your entire life. Ooh, you're hard. You know, for someone who's got a potential assault charge hanging over their head, you're awfully irritating. 
I'm irritating. You should listen to some of the shit that comes out of your mouth. Wow. I literally don't know why I bother hanging out with you. You're just upset because you weren't invited to Moises' house party. Does it look like I care? Yeah, these two are not friends. Yeah, sorry, I keep predicting everything's gonna happen. Got excited then. Oh my god, I can't believe it. He's right where we left him. It's such a cool thing, the whole just erasing them from history and stuff. Who was meant to be guarding him? You were. It's not used very much. That can't be. You are truly losing it. Well, if I was supposed to be guarding him, why didn't you say something earlier? This is stupid and a complete waste of time. We're guarding a moron who can't even speak and we're worried that he can dob us into the police. I'm out of here. Wait, he can speak. Stary McStairface, say something. I oh, yeah, the name we gave him. This is embarrassing. You can look after your imaginary friend on your own from now on. You're leaving? I'm bored. And I'm done. Later. Great. Well, piss off then. Bye. Well, I don't think she's coming back. Oh, so you're not talking to me anymore either? Would you mind doing me a favor? There's something down in the basement of this building that I would like you to take a look at. <laughs> the basement? The door over there is open. Absolutely not, dude. Someone that you've kept tied up for the last week's like, I want to show you something in the basement. Okay, through this door. Just go down into the dark basement for me. Be like, mmm. Oi! You didn't say it was pitch black in here. Suddenly, it's, we're back in Song of Horror. Am I not going down there? Oh, there we go. It should be Becky instead. Just be like, look, bring everyone else back and then erase her, okay. Oh no, what's he doing? What is, is he doing? that she has her phone background as him. What's the deal? Nothing down there but some rats. Like he was about to erase us. My mistake. Donna, let me ask you a question. Do you still have that photograph you took of me? What? Uh, yeah, it's on my phone. Look, I haven't got time for this. Why? You know why. Mum's ill. I need to be spending time with her and helping Emma out around the house more. You need to be here. Oh, whatever. I'm going to untie you. I wouldn't do that if I was you. <laughs> what? Why? You're going to bash my head in? <laughs> whatever. Stay here if you want. Donna, don't pretend you don't want to be here. I know you. I've got to go. It's insane that we're keeping this guy tied up for so long. Like, it, that, that is way more of a crime Hello? than hitting him over the head because you were Mom? scared. Anyone about? Don Adelaide here. Oh no. Speaking. Miss Adelaide here. It's Longmead Hospital. We need you to come in. What's wrong? It's your mum. I'm afraid it's serious. How soon can you get here? Never good when a house phone rings these days, let's be honest. Mum. <gasps> he 
these episodes are so short and so good. All right. Everyone has two episodes left. Let's... Uh, I'm pretty invested in this. Let's hop in back in with Mina, and then we're going to come back to my two dads. I'm going to mix it up. Keep going with this one. Previously on Last Stock. You've just had your second I'm exam. Curious. How'd it go? My daughter isn't a blackmailer. Let me just have a chat with her. Stay away from my daughter. I don't know how many times I can keep putting up with the same excuses. It's like you don't care. Wanker! What the hell is wrong with you? What the hell is wrong with you? You threw a glass at my head. Only got one pair of underwear. Every time I'm out of my clothes, I'm in the same Stop black pair. Me. I'm at work. They're very, very smelly. Um. Felix, please. I'm just so scared. I just need to talk to you. <sighs> Prick. Oh, choosing some clothes. Right, I can undo my awful mistake. Not that one. Get rid of that. Okay, so between these two, I'm thinking this one. Let's see what this is like. We want a little. Yeah, you know, let's go. We're feeling dark. Let's see what this looks like. Get rid of that blue collar. How come you're taking me to school today, and not Dad? Hey, what's wrong with your mum taking you to school for a change? Dad's okay, though. Of course. Why'd you ask? Oh, I don't know. You okay, Dylan? Yeah. You sure? I don't know. The whole family walks weird. <laughs> yeah, <sighs> Dylan, why'd you walk like Pinocchio? Scan for signs of deception. Eye contact. I swear he's avoiding my gaze. He looks nervous. Why? He's hiding something. Has to be. Knows about affair? He's on to me. Okay, let's have it. What's on your mind? Are you leaving Dad? What? Where did that come from? No, I'm not leaving Dad. I heard you both arguing last night and throwing things at each other. That why you're taking me to school today, and not Dad, because you're making him leave. Uh... No, Dad's not going anywhere. Does that mean you're leaving instead? No! Look, I'm sorry that you heard that last night, but you don't need to worry. Everything's fine. All right. All right. Listen, Dylan, I've got to run. I've got an appointment before work. You're not ill, are you? No, nothing like that. Just catching up with an old friend. <laughs> Comes up behind her like the Batman meme, the kid. Justice. You stalking me now? Um. No. I just thought we could have a chat. Dad told me what you accused me of. Pathetic. Wow. Man, he really does tell her everything. Hey, Felix, boundaries are great, okay? That doesn't surprise me. So, was it you? You're a mother. And you've got what, a little boy? Stay away from my dad. He doesn't need you. Okay, forget about that. That's done. Now... It's very important that I hear that you admit that you sent that note. I can't believe you. Leave me alone. Mm. I don't want things to get any more ugly than they already are now. Did you send the note? Yeah, imagine telling your you kid. Threatening oh, me. she thinks you're blackmailing her, by the way. You need to get your act together. Sort your life out and leave us alone. I don't think it's her, but I never did. The 
This is Dad's place, isn't it? Samir? I think. <gasps> no! Did Spider do this? Dad? Dad, are you alright? What? Huh? Chilling. Oh, it's you. What the hell's happened here? The door. Happened last week. Had a break in. Punk kids, no doubt. You'd have no. I'm away for one week and I come back to this? Why haven't you fixed the front door? Oh, no need to lock the doors in this neighborhood. You crazy? Jesus Christ. Look, just tell me what they took. Have you filed a police report? The drugs. Just my medicine. Mm. And absolutely not. It was the him. sniffing around here. What medicine? My brain medicine. You know the the special pills from Spider. I thought I told you to throw them away. Ah. I'm gonna help you clean this place up, and then you're gonna get someone to fix that. Dad's door. got some vinyl. Look. Nini. Make sure you put those books on the shelf in the correct I got a new order. vinyl today. I categorized them by Instagram scene, show you guys. Bottom shelf is travel, middle shelf is politics and history, and the top shelf is arts and entertainment. Okay, 19th they century Europe. That would I nearly did travel, but that would be time travel. It's Messy politics books. and history. I don't mean any of those pseudo electric books that your generation read on the phone. The Highlands paintings, art. Proper paper and ink. Seriously. Every time I go Guide to Sweden, to library travel. And to download a book. I say to Sweden, I come to Sweden. I'm in the bloody library. What's all facts. this about downloading books? I'm telling you, Nini, you've all gone mad. <gasps> the Adventurer's yeah, Guide to Iceland. On audio books. What am I, a child? I'll read my own damn books. Thank you very much. <laughs> audio books. Hey, Samir. You know. It's a common theme with your Nothing wrong with listening really to somebody is. read a book, Everything has like to on Down to Sleep on Spotify and all good and podcast like apps, Samir. There is absolutely nothing wrong with that. Buy a book, that. you read it, it's not difficult. Right, well if that's what you think, guess what? I'm putting your lost photos of Lucas Fairfax in the travel section. How, how, what would you think about that? Hmm? I'm, I'm misorganizing your books, Samir, because... A ticket to paradise? Well, that sounds like politics and history, doesn't it? Ugh, Dad, seriously. Oh, it's nothing to be embarrassed about, child. Uh, you know your mother and I... I don't want to know. The Karma Sutra. That one on the top shelf, Nini. On this week's episode of Down to Sleep. Left a bit. Oh, we're actually cleaning the place up. All right a bit. <laughs> Oh, mate. Right a bit. We've been at this for ten minutes. You sure this isn't straight? Perfect. Nothing's built to last anymore. People Ooh, we're jigsawing. When it's slightly hmm. damaged, they throw it away and buy a new one. Or even worse, they throw it away because they're bored of it. Can you Which believe it? Much wasted stuff there must be in London alone. You know, there used to be a phrase. Up here, where's the... Oh, wait, there. Yes. Sheep. Yes. They were built to last, of course, back then. And don't get me started yes. on the amount we waste on food in our One. supermarkets. Beautiful. The mountains of food that's thrown away every day. It's a disgrace. And all that pollution. Just so you can have an avocado on toast. It's disgusting. People look back on what they're doing now. This reminds me of um, Assemble with Care. My day. That game we played. You had your strawberries in the summer and your Brussels sprouts in the winter. And they were all grown here. Oh, but people complain, don't they? I want my strawberries in December. Look at the packaging. Shipped from California. Most likely on a jumbo jet, I shouldn't wonder. All because you simply cannot do without strawberries in December. I don't even like strawberries. That's beside the point, Nini. Well, how's the uh, super gluing coming along? Nearly yeah, done. Not too bad. Luckily, they're not smashed into tiny pieces. I'll get the handle on. Ah, that's because they're good quality crockery. Had them for years. I know. Well, it's okay, it's Dad. Fix them. It's not one, not. What is it that they say? 
Tidy house, tidy mind. I mean, Samir's place is here. pretty swanky, oh, pretty that lush that me. apartment here. Spider and get some more of those pills. This would cost a buck in London. Dad, I told you to stop doing that crap. Have you been speaking to Spider? Of course. He was around here the other week. Good boy, that Spider. Plays it tough, but he's, uh, he's fighting the good fight. I told him my daughter's a fascist, always meddling in my business. You told Spider about me. Did you get in contact with him in the end? Uh, you would benefit from the extra perspective. Right. Listen, Dad, I've got to go. Make sure you sort that door out. Please. It's important. Yes, yes, child. Spider. Gavin! Gav! Gavin! Oh yeah, wasn't that, um, was that the name in Red Dead? That side thing with that guy looking for Gavin everywhere? Little mug, get him. Gavin. So random, what a game. People, like, can't wait to see GTA 6 and stuff. Honestly, I'm just like, make other stuff. Make another Red Dead, make Bully. I don't even like, really like GTA that much, to be honest. Like, I don't have much hype for GTA 6. GTA 5 was the first GTA game I even finished. I think the other stuff they make is so much more interesting. You're like the worst spy ever walking in the middle of the road. Unless they really do something interesting with it, like go back to the 80s again or something like that, it would be fun. If it's just more modern crime stuff, or yawn. Oi, spider. Too much of a coward to come after me. You have to go after my elderly dad instead. Look who it is. Come to return my driving license, or are you after my library card this time? Wait, has he got a little grow bin there? Smashing my dad's place up? That was a mistake. Harsh words. Tell you what, give me back my license and Where we'll forget the whole this, thing. That he just has that there like that. Aren't we just downstairs in a car park? And that blackmail note was obviously you as well, wasn't it? Such an idiot. I probably wouldn't have made the connection if you hadn't sent that. Yep, yep, yep. Wait, what note? I'm taking you to the police. They can deal with you. What did you mean about a note? I didn't write any note. Hmm. Yes, that leaves only one person. You're coming with me even if I have to knock you out and drag you. This is a setup. Oh my god, he's got a gun now. On me. Gavin upgraded. Okay. Calm down, Gavin. Gavin's this been spider. playing too I'm much GTA. Spider. Well, you are full of surprises. Come on, why don't you just put it down? You're not a killer. I know I'm a screw-up. I bust into your dad's place. Fair cop, you got me. But I'm not taking the fall for any made-up notes or anything. You got me, bruv. Let me give you back your driving license, and we'll call it a night. Okay? Just trying to make something of myself. Trying to get my fair share. But someone's always there to kick the legs out from under you. I'm just trying to do my best, you feel me? Listen, you limp, wet-lipped... 
<laughs> Gavin Spider Boy. I feel you. You don't know nothing. I had it all laid out. I had a plan. Right. What you, what you got? Everyone's got a plan. You do whatever your superiors tell you to do, and things still go off the rails. You what? The amount I sacrificed for this. All that stupid shit other people care about. But it's still not enough to get what you want. And what do I see for my efforts? A blackmail note on my doorstep. If you're being blackmailed, I ain't the one doing the blackmailing. Someone out there has it in for me. I'm sorry I broke into your dad's place. That, that was low. Thanks, Spider. You should be. You can have your license back. You won't hear from me Breaking again. to an old man's flat. Glad to hear it. You're nuts. Put the gun down. Drop it ah. now. Amy? What is this? You were playing me. Oh, well, don't back raise away, the gun, you me. lunatic. What the hell are you doing here, Amy? You were just keeping me talking until backup arrived. Drop the weapon immediately. I won't ask again. Do you two know each other? I'm not going to go to prison for something I didn't do. Gavin, I didn't know she was here. Drop the gun this instant. Bitch, you drop the gun. I said drop it. You drop it. Drop the gun. Both of you, calm the hell down. Oh. My God. There's no way this is real. I need to get in there and inspect her injuries. Goddamn morons. The pair of them. There's a lot of blood. Nick the You're a bloody idiot, Amy. You brought this on yourself. Am I injured? I didn't get hit. Keep focus. Don't succumb to shock. A wound. Nine millimeter round. Left lung punctured. No exit wound. Other organ trauma extremely likely. The bullet's still in there. Going in by hand. Head. Pupils dilated. Shallow breathing. Uh -uh. Can't lift her hand. Stop the bleeding. Loss of muscle control. Dark blood. Indicative of a hemorrhage. <laughs> shock. We're gonna have to choose. We're gonna have to choose, aren't we? Are we not? <laughs> Crap, this really hurts. That spider. Jesus, that's a lot of blood. <laughs> oh god, it's bad, isn't it? <sighs> we need to get you to a hospital. <laughs> what about the other guy? Did I get him? Oh my god, he's dead. Yeah, I think he's dead. I don't understand. What are you doing here? <laughs> so I did not see that coming. Okay, I'm gonna call for help. So I'm gonna call for help. Let me just take my hands completely off of the wound. Oh, that makes sense. Now she clocks it. You sent the note. I need to go to hospital. I guess you got me. Put a spin on this. Take it to Hale, and the job's yours, right? What else did you find on me? I'm dying, Nina. Are they copies? Come on, what have you got on me? Please, Nina. Give me the key to your flat, and I'll call an ambulance. Oh my days, dude. She just died! I mean, I said we were cold, but holy magoli. Ice cold psychopath. What a, what a shock, what a shocker. I totally thought, oh, they're pointing guns at each other, it'll be fine in a second, and then they shot each other, that was crazy. All right, my two dads, the first time today. This one's fun. Previously on Last Stop. So, what happens now? I guess we figure out how to fix this. Why don't you just go to the doctor? Fellas, you realise April Fool's Day was months ago. I'm gonna have to think really hard what our next approach is, Jack. How's your heart, John? My heart? I had a mild heart attack a few months back. What's this? I'm cleaned out. How am I gonna pay for this place without any cash? One of us needs to get a job. Why don't you get your old job back, Dad? Na 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 na. Making do. Yeah, making do. In Dingwall Tower. Look at that tree. Well, wish me luck. 
Remember, it doesn't matter that my CV says you've got no experience. It's not about that at this stage. As long as they like you, you'll be fine. You got this. Trust me, I have interviewed a hundred people before. Don't forget to tuck your shirt in. Own the room. Beat the pack alpha. <clears throat> Tournaments are your breath is in gross. All valuable advice, thank you very much. Look them in the eye and say, I am Jack Smith. Bring home the bacon. <laughs> Bloody Clive. CVs? Pointless. I don't think you can judge a man's character from a piece of paper, you agree? It's all about the one-on-one, -on -one. man on man. Sure. I'll let you in on a secret. This job, easy. A monkey could do it. I'm after an individual, someone that could fill my shoes in years to come. Oh, good. Because I'm not looking for a stressful life. You know, the problem with the public sector is that it's full of grey, dead weight. A bored to me eyeballs, mate. A bunch of corpses everywhere. Mm. You're looking for someone more like you? Yes, exactly. You a football man, Jackie boy? Of course you are. Come on, who are you? Arsenal? Good man. You know the Queen's a gooner. Of course. Anyway, you've got friends here, mate. Although, don't expect to get much All the best people here. are, Clive. We are lacking some serious talent. But you know what they say? Don't shit on your own doorstep. It's a mantra I hold dearly. I've got a bunch of other applicants to see today, but I'm going to go ahead and cancel them. When can you start? Get in! Some nice whales on the wall. Hey, wall. Dad! How's the interview? <laughs> Everybody has no bot in this game. Hi, bot. Um. Aced it. I'll start tomorrow. Woo woo! Pizza on dad. Who wants stuff crossed? I think I'll have an early night. Congrats, etc. Oh, he's a little depressed, a little blue, a little What's down that in the with dumps. Jack? Stuck in my old body. That's what. Who knows? Are you in the mood for spicy beef? Or barbecue chicken? Chicken! Love that barbecue chicken. And it's the barbecue sauce instead of tomato. So good. Dad! Mm -hmm. Yes. I'm late. Jack's still asleep in the living room, so I couldn't watch TV this morning. When I went in there, he was snoring, just like you used to. You know, really loudly. I guess the snoring must have stayed in your old body. It's like the beginning, I but I'm in a different body now. Be yours. Maybe he has your handwriting. Do you remember when Mrs. Adelecki didn't believe that you signed my homework diary because she didn't think that that was written by an adult? It's going to be funny the next time we have parents' evening. Mrs. Adelecki, so her her teacher is uh, if Jack is Donna's mum. In the living room forever, maybe we should get one of those. That's the link. Beds. Actually, Jack can have my room. I'll sleep in the same bed. That way, I can watch TV all the time. Ooh, what are we wearing today? That suit looks pretty good, actually. Not brown. Blue. I mean, this is like super corporate. He looked good in it, but let's try this one today. A little lighter. That's good. It's a little estate agent-y, but that's fine. Forgot something? Phone. I'm ringing it now. Okay. 
knees, he does it. Just give him a little kiss on the forehead. What you doing? <laughs> morning. <laughs> Good morning, darling. That'd be weird to kiss Grace. your own forehead. Dad. You like kissing yourself, wouldn't it? Too slow. I know about your predicament. Come see me, the Vape Lord. Mm. Oh, it's Bin's day. It is Bin's day, it's Wednesday. Oh, there's the vape shop. Ye old vape shop. Vape! Yeah, I got a new Coca-Cola flavoured vape. Can you get Coke flavoured vape? I bet you can. Alright. So I got a strange note through my door from someone called the Vape Lord? Is that you? Hello, yes, that was me. Which one am I talking to? You haven't swapped into someone else. Wait, how you? does he know? How do you know about that? I heard you and that other fellow on that podcast, you know, behind the curtain. Uh. Good show, that. Bit too many ads, but who am I to complain? Anyway, Frank has been searching everywhere for you. Frank? What are you on about? You know, Frank, the guy that cursed you on the tube platform a couple of weeks ago. He's my brother. Can you fix this? Firstly, let me say how sorry he was. Commuter rage. You know how it is. He was actually on his way out of here when you bumped into him. Bit of a whinger. Didn't much like Britain in the end, so he headed back to the old country. It's such a shame he left so soon. Fine. Look, just tell me where he is, and I'll book a flight and meet him. Well, to be honest, mate, I was kind of hoping you'd take some e-liquid as compensation, and that'd be the end of it. What? Are you having a laugh? I want this sorted! If you really want to see him, I guess I've got no choice. This is going to break the bank. All right, listen, I'm going to need a little bit of time to prepare. Write your number down, and I'll give you a buzz. This looks very fancy for a vape shop. Not how I would picture one. Hmm. Interesting. Do you think? Oh, do you think he's going to think about staying in this body? He might hide it. That's what he's thinking, isn't it? He wouldn't want you wouldn't want to give it up. If you were the other guy. You were the other guy in this body, you know? Sorry, you're right. I'll step it up. So how are you finding mucking in with us? Wasn't it a bit low to steal John's job? Oh you know, John. It's all good. So how are you? Been on any dates? I hope he's doing okay. I felt so upset for him when he got let go. He works so hard here just to be discarded like that. Sometimes you get a second chance in life. The Karma you know. Cafe. Maybe. Well, get a move on, Mr. Ambitious. Don't want to keep your mate Clive waiting. Monty's Gambling! Did you see it? Hey, welcome to Monty's Gambling. How can I take your money today? What would you like to get odds on? I'd better get inside. Perhaps we got off on the wrong foot. Why don't we grab a drink sometime? You know, get acquainted. Are you asking me out? I mean, as friends. I could bring John along if you want. Nah, you're good. I think we might need to do another one of our performance reviews. Do we have to talk about this now? Ooh, a bit defensive. We'll have to talk about how we can manage that temper of yours, If won't this we? is such an easy job to get, though, there's just like no, not in a million years would I put up with someone like Clive. 
being my boss, if it was like just your standard office job and he's like, it's so easy to do, it's so easy to, if it's so easy to get that we walked into this job, I'd be like, I'll see you later, mate. Ain't Jackie it. boy, how's my star player doing? I was just telling this delectable beauty she's going to have to up her game if she wants to keep pace with a trailblazer like you. Can I go to my desk, please? You get those emails, the Photoshop ones of you-know-who. Ha <laughs> ha! Have you been sharing doctored photos of me? Uh, you really outdid yourself on these. I know, classics, right? Oh, they're definitely memorable. I don't imagine HR will be forgetting them any time soon. I figured they'd want to be in another joke too. You sly goose. Oh. Betrayed by your own wingman, Clive. Oh, that's got to hurt. You're just having me on, right, Jack? Just to wind up? I'm a sly goose, Clive. Temporary internet files made me laugh. What would Clive say? Uh, what's the, like, I don't know what, I don't know what these mean. Whatever it is, it made me laugh. A classic, you could say. Piss. Clive's Hello, in trouble. welcome to technical support. To help us with your query, in your own words, please describe your problem. <sighs> Here we go. These things never understand me. Oh, John never liked those things either. We're sorry to hear you're having difficulties. We'll transfer you to an operator. You are number one in the queue. I guess it's your lucky day. Ah, oh, everything's doing well for him, isn't it? And then it's gonna... She just fall in love with us because we're really good at stamping stuff. Bye, Clive. What's this? Hey, Shaz. Hey. I'm heading home. Walk to the station. Date. That stunt you pulled on Clive was great. You should have said you were going to stitch him up like that. He had it coming. Total wanker. John has been avenged. <laughs> I'm sure he'll love to hear about this. Cool beans. Same time tomorrow. Promise I won't be late again. You're all right, you know. I can see that Smith family resemblance. Tell John that I'm missing, okay? This story is so cute. It's like so adorable, so wholesome. Why don't you like us anymore, Jack? I thought we were friends. Going on. Dad, Jack's leaving us. Yeah, all right, Molly. Now that you're sorted with your job and everything, I figured this would be a good time for me to move on. You know, try and get my life back on track. He's moving up north. I applied for a uni course in Hull. Computer science. I've got the loans sorted and everything. It starts in September. Mm. So I don't get a say in this? It's my body, and you're the legal guardian of Molly. True. Yeah, that's right. You have to stay. It's the law. They would take her yeah, away, wouldn't they? It's your body, but it's my life. Have you once asked me about my problems? What about my mum and dad? My mates? I've lost all of them. We need to get real. Whatever this is that's happened to us, it's permanent. I need to get on with scraping together some sort of life for myself. I'm sorry, guys. You're wrong. Listen, I, I, I spoke to this guy. He says he can help us. He calls himself the vape lord or something. John, mate, listen to yourself. You're losing it. I get the whole parent thing. I understand that you're worried. But no offence, you lucked out on this deal. You got to be a young man again, but I've lost out on 20 years. True, true. But listen, this guy does actually know. Just shut up for once and listen. This guy can reverse the effects. He knew all about us. Doesn't that interest you? He's playing a prank on you, you idiot. He's winding you up. He's pulling your string. I have never met anyone so unwilling to face the music. When you're having a bad run, sometimes you have to press reset. Oh, no. <laughs> Jesus, and you could try going to the gym occasionally. 
Dad, you're hurting him. Calm down. Hey, just just settle down. Something's wrong. Dad, do something. Help me. Oh, it would be so scary to see that happening to someone in your body, though. I was gonna say, do you know who else uh, Jack looks like? The uh, the character from Tell Me Why. I can't remember their name. Same look. All right, back to Donna, and then it's the final chapters all around, dude. The next station is Cobbett Square. Previously on Last Stop. Oh, Viv! Can't remember what those what twins were called. I did like uh, right? that name there. Oh, that was it, and him. then they butchered you his were. hair at the end. You are truly losing it. Donna, don't pretend you don't want to be here. I know you. Mum's um. ill. I need to be spending time with her. It's your mum. How soon can you get here? Yeah, mum. <sighs> Confessions. Excuse me. I need to stretch my legs. Do you want anything from the machine? No. I just can't believe this. How does something like this happen? Always kind of like hot chocolate from coffee machines she in places well that are vending machines, like terrible. Yeah, but nothing serious like this. I'd rather have a terrible hot chocolate than uh, a coffee or a tea. I don't know. Are you two Miss Adelaide? The little daughters? plastic cup. Something yeah, satisfying about right. it. How is she? She's resting now, but she is stable. So she's going to be okay. We'll know more when we get the test results back, but that won't be until tomorrow. In the meantime, I swear there's more northern accents in this than London. Any visitors until tomorrow, just so she can get her strength. No, we want to see her now. Donna, let's not make a scene. Let's go. Fine. Mum didn't want you to know. I thought you should, and I tried to tell you, but I just wasn't very good at it. I'm sorry, Donna. Mm -mm. It's bad, isn't it? Yeah. I've just been such a little shitbag. I had no idea about all of this. I'm sorry, Em. It's okay. Oh, what the hell have I even been doing for the last few weeks? So much time wasted. Oh no, she just outed herself, man. dude. What man? <gasps> what? It happened a few weeks ago. Wow, it's we are fine. spilling the beans. Now. You won't go to the police. After You're all that. talking about the police. What have you done? I think I've made a terrible mistake. It's okay. Donna, listen to me. I need you to tell me exactly what's happened and show me where this man is. Okay. Do they wear their watches? Me. I think a lot of nurses have like watches that attach to the shirt, I think. So go over it again. But like clip on, but I don't know. One night, depends on where they are, I guess. Netball practice, I realized someone was following me. A strange man. And he attacked you. Yeah. And you ended up in the swimming pool. Well, yeah. He ran away. He stole my phone. And that's when you tied him up. But yeah, this isn't you know, how it happened, but maybe it's how it happened so since people stupid. have been erased. I don't know. You could have got yourself killed. Why didn't you call me straight away? I know. I didn't think it through. I'm such a waster. 
You should have told me, Donna. The story. Bits. Thanks for the two bits. Um, what is it? I'll tell her the truth. I haven't been entirely truthful with you. What do you mean? He didn't steal my phone. There we go. It didn't actually change. He broke in. And that's when he attacked you. Actually, I attacked him. I tied him Not up so he go to the police. No snitching. Stupidest thing I've ever done. Jesus Christ! Donna, that's kidnap! That's a serious criminal offence. It was self-defence. I thought he was an alien. This is getting ridiculous. Stay here. I need to see what you've what, done. Stay together. I'll Don't come, come in. He only speaks to me. How am I going to explain this to the Sarge? Wait, what? I, I thought you were going to help me, not dog me in. I'm a police constable. I can't just cover this up like in some movie. What did you think I was going to do? Be my sister? What the hell are you doing? You'd sell out your own sister to protect your job. What about Mum? She can't deal with this now. Wait here. What oh are you doing? Oh my Get god. Off of me. You are... Just shut the hell up and stay here. Emma! Come back! Emma! Please! <sighs> what is she like? How do you not take me in to back up and to help out and just to like bloody hell? Come on. Be a bro, you know? Get in there right as he's erasing her. Emma! What? Now listen, you stay out here handcuffed to the railing in a little shirt Why? whilst it's pouring with rain. Hands. I need my handcuffs back. I'm sorry. Stay still. Emma, talk to me. Do you not get it? Mum's dying, and we're out here playing one of your games. I'm not sure what's happening to me. I think I need to see someone. The problem is, Donna, I don't think I can believe anything you say. Is there anything I can do to make this right? I'm going to be at the hospital. Join me if you want. I, don't I feel care. like her whole outfit is themed that even she has uh, yellow eyeshadow, right? I, that, that is a result of us picking the yellow shirt and her shoes. Which is kind of cool. I wonder if it would have been the same makeup if we had picked a different outfit. Yeah, we really, we really didn't check the weather before getting dressed and picking this. We do regret the yellow in the end, I think. We should have gone with the pink hoodie again. And he's back again. What's happened, Donna? Would you like to talk about it? Who are you? I'm your friend, Stary Max Stareface. <laughs> Best decision of the game was giving him the name Stary Max Stareface. Friends don't keep friends hostage. I don't know if I've got any friends left. What do you mean? I feel like I only half exist. The other half of me is off somewhere having fun while I've been stuck here treading water. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I can't stay here anymore. This has run its course. You're free to go. This is about your mother. Yes. She's dying. In fact, She's almost gone. Is this supposed to be helping me in some way? If you want my help, you only have to ask. Mm, yes. You're not a doctor. What could you possibly do? What do you have to lose? Ask me. Is he 
genie. raised us? Wasn't that us? Okay. Let's go. It's the last steps. Let's go with this one. And then I think dad's and then this one. The next station is Salt Cellar Lane. Previously okay, yeah. on last stop, this is your final chance. I didn't send the damn note. Murder. Stay away from my dad. He doesn't need you. What the hell's happened here? Had a break in. Have you been speaking to Spider? Come to return my driving license. That blackmail note was obviously you as well, wasn't it? If you're being blackmailed, I ain't the one doing the blackmailing. Put the gun down. Drop it now. Amy? Crap, this really hurts. Wait a minute. You're the one who sent me that note. Da, 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 da. Poor Amy. Oh my god, what if the twist is now that it wasn't her and she let her die? Like, we're gonna come in the door now and the husband's like, Get my note, did you? What? <laughs> Sorry, what? I just let a woman die. <laughs> it's time. Oh no, we're at her place. We're at Amy's house. Now we're gonna see how she's living. Who is also, don't forget, a friend of Jack's. <gasps> Pink hat. Pink hat hype. Ooh, little first person action. Wow. Little first person action here. As we search the place. Thank you, Tulip, for the 500 biddies. Let's have a look. I'm gonna look in here, got some spare bulbs. Some headphones. I have a little hack. Theatre House, the absent guest, a play in five parts by the proper play collective. We pick up where we left off. Sarah and Alfred continue their conversations on where their guest could possibly be. What will they uncover? Tickets, $25. I mean, pounds. Oh, God. So American. Nothing. Pictures. Oh, she's so artsy. Pictures that she takes at weekend. She's so creative, take... <clears throat> Close that up. Oh, have a look in it. I think she gets a bad back. There's a massager in there. It's one of those neck massages, isn't it? Uh, me she must have hacked into the system. Hugh, she's got my she's file. Potential. She doesn't have clearance. What's that? Foot massager? Uh, this is my file. At the request of a project lead, Peter Hale. Candidates are receiving full spectrum psychological evaluations using Q3D standard psychodiagnostic methodology. A face to face interview and observation session were conducted with Mina Hughes. The nature and purpose of the evaluation were withheld from Miss Hughes as per project lead stipulation. Subject demonstrated extreme reluctance to cooperate during interview, treating the process in the interview as with contempt and discourtesy. Subject Hughes clearly feels the test process is beneath her and that she is to be held to a different standard to other members of the organization. Our initial conclusion is that while Subject Hughes is highly intelligent, driven, and a natural problem solver, she's classic narcissist, devious, a compulsive liar, and unsuited to tasks, which rely heavily on empathy and compassion. I mean... 
They've called your number there, Mina, let's be honest. Given our findings and her lack of cooperation, we have failed Subject Hughes on this occasion. Furthermore, it's our belief she's pathologically unsuited to a collaborative work environment, untrustworthy, and poses a risk to the smooth running of this organization. A comprehensive analysis can be found in the accompanying documentation. Uh, requested a further round of psychological evaluations. A face-to-face -face interview. We were concerned to note Subject Hughes' condition has deteriorated markedly since her previous interview. Although uncooperative in the previous session, the subject was found at all times to be lucid and coherent. In the most recent interview, Hughes appeared agitated, distracted, and was unable to provide complete or provide satisfactory responses. Our conclusion would be the interviewee is experiencing extreme stress to a degree that is affecting her rational decision-making. In this state, we would consider her judgment impaired and recommend a period of recuperative leave combined with a referral to a medical professional. We have again had to fail Subject Hughes, awarding a lower total score than her previous interview. Given her disposition, should her stress condition not improve, we would be concerned she may resort to irrational self-destructive behavior or even violence. Take or put back? Uh, take, I guess. Underwear. See, look, Mina. Colors. More than one. More than one pair. Don't just have to wear black underwear all the time. Bum, bum, bum. What's in here? Local schoolboy praised for honesty. Oh my God, why does she have our ki my kid in here and like my man? You know? And my dad, vote against the bomb. Area Secretary Samir Patel. Apple fallen far from the tree. Interesting political leanings. Doesn't seem consistent with his daughter's outlook. What a weird family. Alright, I'm glad to let you die now. Total whitewash. If only they knew the real story. Take all of these things. Yeah, what's this? Dressing room. Is there a stage in the other room? Goodness. What's this? What's in there? Hang on. Nothing. Hell. Hell. Very clean. The bathroom. Another very nice place. Nice little garden. What's this? Mr. Mistopheles, 1992. That's going to be a Based password for something, back. isn't it? Um, are these our texts that she has? She's got our texts. Don't be so formal. I have a gift for you. Sending pictures. Uh, fresh out the shower, like what you see. We should get together. Oh, look, this is when it started. She started it with him, look. <clears throat> Thanks for bringing Dylan in today. His ear infection appears improved. So this is from Felix. Doctor, it's Mina. Do you have a private number I can reach you on? It's important. Hi, Mina, it's Felix. This is my personal number. Is this about Dylan? I don't usually talk to patients direct like this. If you need advice, call 111 or visit A&E if it's an emergency. Dylan's fine. Actually, Felix, I was wondering if you could help me with something. Of course, Mrs. Hughes. If you call the surgery tomorrow, we can set up an appointment. Don't be so formal. Hey, I have a gift for you. And then she just sends him a picture. Oh my god, Mina. Fresh out of the shower. Like what you see. We should get together. Kiss. Wow. Oh my god, Mrs. Hughes. Wow, but we can't do this. I'm your GP. I'm flattered. Believe me. Okay. Just out of interest, when were you thinking? Wow, Felix, man. You had the opportunity to walk away from it, Felix. Pink Bear found it. Winner, winner. Chicken dinner, there it is. Cat toys. There's a cat, there's a cat in here somewhere. <gasps> what if it's her cat that's missing? It's all connected. Bom, 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 bom. Imagine just like 
to the doctor, you know? I've got an issue. Just like, what do you think of this out of the shower? Sorry, what? Excuse me? What are you doing? Uh, what is this? Looks like the cover of Alien. Kill Bill. Uh, La La Land. Jurassic Park. Forrest Gump. What's the one on the left? I don't know what that is. Anyone know? This cutout style. And then, what's that? A moth? Is that Silence of the Lambs? Dun 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 dun. Oh, that's Spirited Away. Okay. There we go. Close it up. Put it back how we found it, you know? Another good snoop. Okay, I think we'll do something with that password. I mean, maybe turn the light on, you know? No? Okay. Oof, turn my mouse down. Try and move a little. Secret smoker, eh? Camera. Um. How the hell did she get this? Is this our past? Writing to confirm that Sergeant Mina Patel will be seeking early retirement from the British Armed Forces or medical grounds. She'll be ending her service effective immediately. Your staff will be notified of any transport arrangements by telephone. In her time in the British Army, Sergeant Patel has conducted herself in the finest traditions of the service and will no doubt be seen as an exemplary role model for future service men and women. Of particular note is her time serving with the 22nd Special Air Service Regiment. SAS Super Army Soldiers, most significantly her recent contribution to Operation Bloodhound during the 2001 invasion of Afghanistan. Out of eight soldiers, she was the sole survivor of her squadron. Mina probably killed them all. Bloodhound was an extremely challenging mission involving the recovery of hostages from a fortified compound deep behind enemy lines. Her heroic efforts ensured a minimum of civilian casualties and the safe recovery of all hostages. A credit to her unit. I wonder if this is sort of a little bit of a... Um, a humanizing of Mina here, because she's been so harsh and blunt and sort of stiff the whole time that she has like a history in war and, you know. She exits the armed forces after six years of distinguished service. We wish her every success as she returns to civilian life. I acknowledge it's unconventional for a garrison commander to be notified of personnel change. It's been necessary to break with the protocols in this instance. Thanks for the private letter. I've taken the time to review the findings personally. I'm utterly unsatisfied with the inquiry's conclusions, in particular as they relate to the conduct and actions of Mina Padel. Maybe not. I'll be frank with you. Bloodhound's a monumental disaster. The Americans are breathing down my neck over this. The PM is furious. What was Patel thinking? I know you chaps in the SAS pick these people for their initiative, but we don't expect them to act like bloody one-woman armies. According to the report, in the space of 40 minutes, what was meant to be a covert reconnaissance mission to assess the status of our missing people result in the effective loss of SAS H Squadron, the loss of an entire US Navy SEAL team, and an as yet unidentified number of Afghan civilians killed or wounded, all because of Patel's reckless decision to deviate orders and proceed with rescue. Well, okay then. She's a psycho. Your Sergeant Fatal appears to have decided to play the hero and take matters into her own hands. She rescued the hostages, I grant you. But my word, the reputational damage that she has done, not to mention the cost in lives. Heads need to roll for this, and I'll be damned if one of them is mine. As I see it, Patel's career is finished. We'll have to spin this as a success, of course. I don't want the media getting a whiff of what a cock-up this has been. As far as uh, our messaging is concerned, Patel saved the day, but I want her as far from public scrutiny in the British Armed Forces as can be arranged. See that it's done, and make sure to remind her of her obligation under the Official Secrets Act. <laughs> My God, Chris, what a shit show. Yours, the Secretary of State for Defence. All the way from Whitehall, baby. I'm going to key for the outside. I'm going to snoop on everything here. There's a bunch of interesting stuff. Let's see what she's eating. Nice full cupboards. All very samey mugs. Some cutlery. Oh, close that. Hello, close it. I can't see. Mina. There we go. Bloody hell. Pots and oh, pans. A little bit of the bubbly. Laura with a little bit of the bubbly. 15 months. Thank you so much for the tier 2. I appreciate it. That extra support. Extra emotes. Thank you very much. You're a super bear of Bear Island. Hope you're doing awesome. Having a great week. 
Cheese grater. Hey, does everyone's cheese graters look the same? Does everyone just have this cheese grater? I have two cheese graters. I have one like that. And I have one that's like kind of thin. It's more like uh, you'd put it in here, you know? Like that. You don't have a cheese grater. What are you, what are you doing with your life? Grated cheese is like one of the greatest things in the world. Can we go in the garden? Oh, oh wait, maybe this is for the locked door. I thought it was for the back door. Click. Secrets. Saucy secrets. Jack's on there too. Are you serious? He is a streamer. Time. To check the old computer. Oh yeah, Button City. I loved Button City so much. Keeps his stash at Dingwall Tower. That's where uh, Jack and John are living. Jack, look, there he is, acting suspicious. Hi guys, welcome to today's video. What else is in here? Oh, it's her gym room. Jimball. Jimball! Alright, on to the laptop. Ooh, a bowl with a grater on top. Those ones are good. Like a Tupperware thing, and then it, you pop it off, and you've got a whole bowl of cheese. Cheese is amazing. So, with respect, I'm starting to have serious reservations about this assignment. I just read it like this, might be easier. When you asked me to investigate Hughes, wait, we were never in competition? She was just investigating me? I was appreciative of the trust you placed in me, however, the deeper I dig, the harder it is for me to understand your interest in her. The Mina Hughes I read about at Sandhurst appears to be an idolized fabrication. In reality, she's ruthlessly self-absorbed, ill-disciplined, and engaged in numerous questionable activities, many of which pose a security risk. She clearly doesn't have Q3D's best interests at heart. At heart, sir, can I suggest we pause my surveillance here? There's nothing further to be learned. The case against her is open and shut. If this assignment has been a test of my loyalty to you and the organization, I hope I've demonstrated both. Obviously, I want to do whatever is for the good of the company. I just feel my skills could be better used in other areas. What? That son of a bitch! There was no promotion competition. You've been playing me, you son of a bitch. All right, Hughes. Take a breather. Is this to get back at me? For what? Leaving the field? What's it been? Eight years? Okay, you got me. Now settle down. Amy's dead. So is a kid. You're not here because you're upset about that, and we both know it. Just tell me what's going on. Why have you been messing with me? Because you got sloppy. You let Amy get to you. Your house isn't in order and you failed your psych exam. You know how many advisors told me to cut you loose? She's a has-been, washed up. But they don't know what you're capable of, do they? Operation Bloodhound? You just need the right conditions. Something going on in the background here that's going to link up, isn't it, with the end? <laughs> you expect me to believe that? It's the truth. Congratulations. You proved yourself. <laughs> Find someone else. Pete. The portal's open. What? It's true. It kicked into gear about 25 minutes ago. We're not sure how long it will be stable, but we're good to go. We just need a candidate. 
Come on, Hughes. This is it. The mm -hmm. big one. Don't you want to know what's on the other side? Contact style. Good to go. I'm good to go. I've been waiting up. Where the hell are you? Dan, listen. I don't have much time. Going through. I need to talk to you about something. What do you mean? Are you, are you okay? He still cares. You're gonna hate me for this, but I need to leave for a bit. What are you talking about? Dude, Dan it's deserves work. better, doesn't he? Look, just come home and we'll discuss it, okay? No. I wish I could. I wish I didn't have to tell you like this over the phone, but I have to go now. There's been no time to prepare. Are you serious? You're working in the field again, aren't you? Is that what you've been doing all these evenings? Like, getting prepared? Hiding it from me? I can't believe you. Ah, oh, no. I mean... Yeah, that's basically it. How can you do this to us? How can you be so selfish? Selfish? I did everything you asked of me. I said own I up. up. I thought she was going to admit to everything then. My life. My reputation. You think I like what I've become? I can't stand it anymore. Oh, so now it's my fault. What about me? What about Dylan? What is he coming to this? That's not what I said. You've been great. Please, let's just talk about this when I get back. And when will that be? Right? You, you can't tell me, right? Could be any time. Could be never. I've had enough, Mina. I'm sick of it. I bent over backwards trying to keep this family together with all your late nights and your weekends, but what can I do with this? I mean, do you think I'm a mug? No, Dan. I'm serious. Am I a mug? Bit of a mug. Maybe I am. Bit of a mug, Dan. If you go tonight, she won't tell you. I don't I want will. you coming back here. Mm. Gravel or diffuse. Mm. You don't mean that. Look, I have to go. They're relying on me. Well, I hope it's all worth it. Because you have destroyed this family. Ooh, the voice acting is so good. So much emotion in that. Oh my god, we're going straight in, dude. Cliffhanger. What's with all the zips? Pockets. It's got pockets. I if I can decide to come back to my family. I've changed my mind. Just kidding. I want to go in. I hate my life. <laughs> I hate I hate my life and I hate myself. I'm going through a portal now. Bye. I, I heard everyone around me and I heard myself all the time. I don't know what's wrong with me. I read the report and I agree with every word. All right, goodbye now. Cheerio. Oh, it's going to be the, like, we're going underground. It's the station, isn't it? Right? Like, this has been built on top of the site of the door. <gasps> so cool. God, this game's been amazing. I'm so, so curious to see what this is all about. Look at this. Amazing. A locker room. Catfish, meow. Meow. Thank you for the 250. Appreciate it. Where the cat went missing. Why did the back of these pants look like a corset the way they're like tied up? I'm glad you're here, Hughes. I need you on this. I read the brief. An extraction mission. How do you even know she's alive? My god, it is, dude. Who is this guy? Because she has to be. It says in the brief she went missing 38 years. 38 years! He's been trying 16. to do this and get her back. Is there a romantic link there? 
It's not important. Oh my god. I need to know where she's been for these years. I'll bring her back, sir. I'll get the job done. That's all I want to hear. Wow. And if I don't return? I'll honor our arrangement. Your family will be looked after. Dedicated his whole life to this. Just the money. Do me the decency of leaving them alone. All right? Fair enough. Don't forget. Why are you going through? Dude, I feel like if you had spent 38 years doing this, you would want to go yourself if you were him. Resources, technology, no way. culture. The extraction mission is just the first phase. This is the next frontier. Right here. Now show them what you're made of. Let's so go through yourself. Like, if that girl hasn't come back in 38 years, I mean, maybe that's why he doesn't want to do it himself, right? So then he got a professional. A gold badass bitch on the knee. And the whole Amy thing was a test. This is some, like, Tenet stuff going on, you know? Still too scared. Yeah, exactly. Depth reading. He's been regretting not going through for 38 years. I wonder, maybe he doesn't even care. Like, maybe he doesn't even care about the girl. And it's just about... Like he said, resources in the future and stuff. But I'm curious. This is honestly so far... Still time with a couple of episodes left, but been one of the best story games that I've played in a really long time. In terms of originality and just like actually being super, super cool. I'm gonna go in that thing. Even one of these stories on its own would have been amazing. The fact it's these three monitors set to record. Reading together. Is. Environment at the horizon reads steady. Gravitation, electromagnetics, and radiation all within predicted norms. Insane. External readings at 64 degrees centigrade. I can feel an updraft from the anomaly. Stranger things. Cooling system operational. Suit. All this technology and money, you know. Yes, yeah, stick me in this thing. Paint. Look at me, moon boots. Okay, that's terrifying. <laughs> oh man, you have to pay me so much. Although I might do it for free as well. Drop at the top. Yeet. Oh, so curious to see where that goes. Okay, let's. Da, 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 da. Paper dolls. We got John having a heart attack, haven't we? Previously on Last Stop. I know about your predicament. Come see me, the Vape Lord. Frank has been searching everywhere for you. The guy that cursed you on the tube platform a couple of weeks ago? He did this! I'm gonna need a little bit of time to prepare. Write your number down and I'll give you a buzz. Jack's leaving us! Now that you're sorted with the job and everything... Because, like, each one of these that we've played through, their six episodes, could have been standalone games. Dad! They totally could have strung it out, but the, the way they've done it is actually... Just love it. So good. Yeah, pay me so much, I'll do it for free. I would need so much, but then instantly just... Actually, nah, chuck me in there, it's fine. Hello, you came in with Mr. Smith, is that right? Your family? 
Where's Jack? I want to see him. Oh no, I hope he's okay. Family friend. Do you know how we can contact his next of kin? Oh, I should have said I was family. I'm afraid the situation's serious. We're his family. Well, how serious? He survived one of these before, you know. If we could get in touch with his family urgently, that would be best. I should have said. We're doing everything we can for him. But it's too early to say whether he'll make it through the night. Oh my god. No! Hey, do you want to, like, like, not say that in front of the child? I'll let him know. Yeah, <laughs> nurse, what are you doing? Jack's going to die. Mm. We don't know that. It's not fair. He's only sick because he's in your body. I shouldn't have made you eat all those chicken dippers. This is not your fault, Molly. It's not your fault. If it's anyone's, it's mine. I don't want Jack to die. I like him. And if he does, they'll take me away, won't they? No one is taking you anywhere. He has to live. There's no way. Molly, I'm gonna fix this. Oh, dude, what gonna are you gonna, gonna do? Jack. Don't go back in your own body. I just need to pop downstairs for a minute. Can you look after my daughter while I'm gone, please? Sure. I'll keep an eye on her. What are you doing? Hey, it's Shaz. Leave a message. Shaz, it's Jack. Listen, John's in hospital. I need you to come over when you get this, please. The nurse will explain everything. Thanks, Shaz. You've been a good friend. Boost. <laughs> I'm not gonna let you die! Super emotional and then... Boost. Quick time event. Boost. I can do this. Smear's place. The old vape shop. You're cutting it fine. Thought you were a no-show. Mmm. <sighs> I haven't got much time. Are we going or what? Come on, this way. You know, there's a lot of history in this little vape shop. It's like an interesting in hum in the background the whole time for this yeah, one. Yeah, we sold all sorts here. Before e-liquids took off, we were a laundrette. Cobble shoes. Right. Is that in my head? Magazines, anything really. Technically, Frank owns the place, but he's never here. He said he was doing me a favour, you know, letting me run the place and all, but I think he's going down. Smell of the stuff. The portal. It's weird, that, isn't it? How some people don't like the smell of things. For me, I bloody love the stuff. Drone, I should say. What the heck is this place? So I feel like I haven't properly explained this. Are you okay travelling to the other side of the galaxy? Um. What the heck is this? It's the portal! You want to see Frank? This is the only way! Are you coming with me? There's only room for one. Look, we don't have time. It won't wait for you. I thought you were up for this. You're right. We don't have time. Okay, how does this work? Now, it's very important. 
Here are your travel tokens. One for getting in, one for getting out. Do not lose them, okay? You won't get back otherwise. Now, when you arrive, you're going to want to try and find Frank's shop. You'll know who you are. Okay, thank you. By the way, what's your name? I already told you. It's Fake Lord. Get going. <laughs> I'm the Vapor! <gasps> I left a token! Oh, no! Dude! You had one job! Ah, oh, it's a one-way ticket, baby! Oh my god, these endings! Square. Previously on Last Stop. She's resting now, but she is still. I think I've made a terrible mistake. Jesus Christ! Donna, that's kidnapped! Stay here. I need to see what you've done. You made it all up. I think you actually saved me by not being here a moment ago. If you want my help, you only have to ask. I think we're not meant to still be hearing that sound. There's no way we're meant to be hearing it here. Right? I'm gonna restart. Once we get in. Like, uh, I'm still hearing it. Are you still hearing it? Both gone. Into the sister. Yeah, it's definitely there. Let me see if this is intentional. Let's just hop out and back in. The next station is Salt Cellar Lane. Previously on Last Stop. She's resting now, but go. she is stable. I think I've made a terrible mistake. Jesus Christ, Donna, that- Ah, relaxing. Listen to these healing tones. Feel it in your chest. It's like when I went through the entirety of that Call of the Sea game and being like, this is a really weird choice with the music to just be this loop over and over again and I played the, like the whole eight hours with it bugged. Missed out on the entire soundtrack. It's like, oh, oops. Wasn't going to let it happen again. Not with this game. This has been too good. Alright, so what happened to the sister? Because the last thing was, I think, the mum disappearing. Unless it was the sister, but... <laughs> we are the last. I'm sleeping in the basement now. To me like that. Oh, what time is it? It's almost 3 a.m. It's the middle of the night. Uh, can't this wait until the morning? No. It's time for us to leave. At 3 a.m.? Get dressed. We're going home. Hmm. But I, I thought this was our home. I don't have time for your questions. Get up. We're going. So he's from the other side of the galaxy, if that's where all this green stuff's about. But then... 
He has like a personal portal in here. He's like been sending people through it, hasn't he? Because when we first saw this guy, it was Viv or Sorem. He would take people in here and then they would disappear. This wallpaper though. Here's all the people that he was chucking in here. You always were such a child. What? I wonder how many people would be better off if you weren't here. Why didn't you want to see me in the hospital? Donna, I lied. I was with Becky that night. You what? You did it in the bathroom. to go. I need answers. Like I'm not forgetting it, right? We don't we don't know when the sister went. We didn't see the sister go, right? We only saw one of them go from the picture. <clears throat> she was the one that went, but where did the mum go from the picture then? I feel like something was missed. All right, the final chapter. It's time for it all to come together. Are you ready? Let's get the popcorn. This should be good. Yeah, I guess that little montage of time passing at the beginning, he ended up doing Becky and uh, the mum just in you know, Probably felt the need to not see it. Oh my God, it's Tatooine. You don't speak English. Great. Look, I need to find someone. Her name is Samantha. She looks a bit like me, I suppose. Well, more like me than she looks like you. I see more no. I say not by that. Okay, too much information. Where are you heading? Where do you live? I am my saying that called Harbour. That is to be that's a what I say no more. Get to the village, everyone talks English. We're like, well what's with that guy then? We're like, we have no idea. He's just like that. He's just weird, you know. Lead the way. Made up his own language. Look at this wreck. All my gears trashed. No water. No rations, unarmed, in the desert on another planet, following a purple-faced alien with bug eyes. Oh well, if he's all the way out here, surely it can't be too far to the next settlement. Where are we? Jack, where are we? Aliens, snakes, snakes with wings. I love that this game is just full-on weird. Like so many story things these days do the whole, oh, it's weird, but actually there's a reason for it. Like Life is Strange got less and less fantastical. And this is like, no, we're in space. We're on a planet. That's an alien. That guy's got wings. Like a great 
crazy with it. Peaceful out here, isn't it? Sleeping under the stars like this. Takes me back to Afghanistan. Jesus, what's that? Like nine years ago. It's basically an entire lifetime. Feels good to be back. sky <laughs> who is this Lima Kalima Mane on Fonte Sipta Bila Where are we going? Is she talking to us? Stop asking annoying questions. Fan capto lipta sonila Sima gondita Goblin Bel Afghanilan sim nipuna San Sima fonti gani Seplaso Kilan fan kunama kitka simi Gani von Zulan Gold Harbor I thought for sure she was his kid Sani Mosa Enough of this. Goblin. What the hell? Why? What'd you just do? Where's she gone? What? You saw that? What are you talking about? I'm sitting right here. No. I shouldn't be. That's not the way it works. You shouldn't remember. I shouldn't remember? You've done this before? She must be adapting. Have you ever done that to me? Someone that I know. Yeah, everyone you know. Quiet! That's the last time we'll speak of this. Am I understood? Do you understand? I would be surprised if he turned out to be villainous here. I was so convinced he was actually good, but... <sighs> He's not been acting very nice for the last couple of episodes, has he? Is this place? Oh no, I can't believe you lost one of the coins. That's gonna be sad, I already know. It's gonna have to like somehow sneak back in. What? Huh? Village Becker. What? Oh, those tokens. One moment. What's he gonna realize? Oh, here somewhere. Ah. There you go. Is the other one. Okay. Frank, you better be here. Frank! Here, yeah, Frank. Love this episode. So crazy. Everything's so different. What's up, Ava? You have missed quite a bit. Yeah, this is the final chapter. Things linking up. Seems like we're getting closer to some sort of civilization. Oh, there we go. That's, yes. You call it a cold harbor. Oh, you are kidding me. You speak English. 
Only little. We <laughs> listen. We understand better. Why didn't you say something earlier? Very tired earlier. No, not so tired. Fine. Well, tell me something about cold letter. Big place. Many people. Sure. So, what is this place anyway? I mean, why is there this portal underneath the ground that led me here? We don't know. We have not enough money to travel far. We only come hold harbor for how you say, uh, no limit, Texas hold them. Huh. How do you know what that is? Very popular and cold harbor. Win money, lose money. Very painful, very fun. Gambling in a nutshell. Maybe Samantha's got something to do with that. Where can I sign up for a game? Very high building. Ooh, we're gonna play some poker. Man in office, show you. Love poker. Well, this is something. I haven't played poker in so long. Man, I would love to go space. Like alien space, though, like not just an empty planet or something. Either starting a new colony or just going somewhere like this would be so sick. Be straight through that pool. How long till you got bored? <laughs> though, a week later, you're just sat in the desert, like, ah, oh, body hell, I want to go home now. This is terrible. I go now. What? That's it? You're not going to show me around? No. No time. Already late. Well, thanks for getting me this far. Good luck. Try not to die. Thanks. He looks like a sim. This guy with the glasses, man. He looks like something out of Buffy the Vampire you. Slayer. You're here. Uh, hello. Oh, this is Frank. I'm Frank. You don't remember me. Wait, what? Why does he look so much like a devil? Is he like maybe he's actually like a demon or something? I don't know. You're not Frank. Oh, sorry. I haven't got my human face on. How about now? That uh, terrifying. You're him. You're the guy from the station. The grumpy old git who fell over. You're Frank. I should box your ears in, you terrible bastard. Okay, now settle down. I thought my brother gave you my apology. You can stuff your apology. Why don't you make me come all the way out here? Couldn't even be bothered to meet me at the entrance. Uh, sorry, uh, I've been a bit snowed under. There's been a lot of new customers interested in vaping round here. Does it look like I care? I haven't got time to mess around. Have you got what I'm after? Come on, I've got to get back. Right, of course. You're going to need to use this bracelet. Put it on your wrist and link hands with the person you want to switch bodies with. Pretty simple. Okay, really. now give me something to oh, make him better, just though. FYI, you can only use it once. Just saying. What do you think I'm gonna do? Make a hobby out of swapping bodies? I mean, if it worked first. more than once, yeah, why not? All right. So, how do I get back then? You're gonna see me off. What do you mean? Just go back the way you came and use your return ticket. Return ticket. Oh no. Smash cut to John no, dancing on the tables right. in the poker bar, trying to earn a ticket back. Yeah, do you like this, you aliens? Who's got a return ticket for me? I'll take my pants off. I must have lost it. Come on. Just give me a new one. Oh dear. Uh, sorry, I don't have one. What? No, 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 bullshit. Come on, hand one over. I'm serious. Those things cost an arm and a leg. Does it look like I'm made of money? Look, <laughs> your best bet. Is I would to love it if we had to go get a job. Explain your situation. Get an alien Add job. Charming. Who knows? Maybe they'll take pity on you.
Let me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. If you must. Um, ask about Mum, I think. That time I told you I was visiting someone in the hospital, but couldn't remember who or why. I was there visiting someone, wasn't I? Someone close to me. And you vanished them. Her. The woman from underneath your house. Mum. Donna. You're so confused. A silly little girl. You're lucky you have someone like me to look after you. To put up with your nonsense. This is so weird. It's true. I've made a mistake. I hate him. I think we've made a bit of a mistake. I should never have come with you. Careful. No. I'm done listening to you. I remember them. Wait, you're what? a monster. Why? Because we never you're kissed mine. him. And they got in the way. Now shut up. Unless you want to end up did like we? the rest of them. Oh no, we did. Did I forget? Did I? Oh, I forgot. <laughs> Listen, my memory is getting pretty Excuse bad. Excuse me, are you two here to sign up for the poker tournament? I remember now. Watch out, he's dangerous. What's going on here? Are you with him? He's a murderer! My daughter has a very active imagination. Linking up! Please. Linking up! Oh, damn. <sighs> Assess the situation. This isn't right. What's going on? Something strange about him. They're both human beings, like me. Wait a moment, what's happening here? This must be where the guide intended me to go. Thank goodness the planet has breathable air. Something strange in his eyes. No signs of fear. Unpredictable. Dangerous? Helpless, tired, kidnapped? Girl. Imminent threat. Come on. You're coming with me. She's mine! At whoa! Take it easy there, scary boy. Oh my god. No, I need answers from this guy. He can't die like that. I need some exposition. I need him to sit her down and be like, this is why I came to the planet. This is what I've been doing. Right. I'll just come back later. We're all together now. Man. It's like the last two chapters are just flying, aren't they? A rate of knots. With how much so let me happening. get this straight. You've swapped bodies with someone younger, fitter, and healthier than you. You've shaved 20 years off your life, dodged a heart attack, and you want to switch back because put it like that I don't know I'm, I'm just trying to do the right thing well I guess it won't matter when you're dead will it what are you doing here again my job actually right your job doing what exactly doesn't matter anymore, does it? I can't believe I killed him. I wonder if everyone that he took has reappeared when she did that, like, usual sort of movie spell thing. Of killing the witch. You'll always remember your first one. You should be lucky that you know he deserves Your first, like there's gonna be more. Hello? Hello? God! Can we talk? I'm not supposed to be in here. There's, there's been a terrible misunderstanding. You're wasting your time. They probably can't even understand what you're saying. You can wallow in your own self-pity if you want, but I'm not giving up yet. I've got a daughter to get back to. We know. That's the tenth time you've mentioned her. 
You don't have a family? Mm. Yeah. Married. A little boy as well. Divorced, I take it. Or are you one of those mums that just leaves a kid with a dad while you do your own thing? Oh, shut up, will you? <laughs> you don't even know what you're talking about. Oh, I know all too well. Believe me. Oh. A little bit of uh, wife information. Just stop it. Both of you. There's no point arguing. Of course you'd say that. You're the reason we're all in here. You're the murderer. Wow. Harsh. Yeah. So sorry it was a bit. If you both think this is my fault, I won't blame you for throwing me under the bus. It's not like I've got anything left anyway. No, look. I'm sorry. I'm just stressed, that's all. Now they're all together. I know you've been through a lot. Which story have you enjoyed the most? John, He's Mina, right. or Donna? It's only a matter of time until we're questioned. I mean, it's all it won't coming help as if one. Each other's throats. Let's just see what tomorrow brings. I'm expecting lots of Johns. I think it's so difficult to pick, though. Like, I liked Johns. Johns was really good, but honestly, like, Mina's was really interesting. She's a really interesting character, super flawed. And Donna's, like, I was so into this story with that alien guy and what he was up to was so mysterious. And, like, that one made me want to keep going the most, I think. But they're all so good in their own way. that I like totally expected one of these to be a flop but so good Kilan doth lani Hussan doth rinta Terrifying Hol sulan Las futa bin ganifa Mol yuri sitkim han Suni falima kasabron hulan sika fiel himakutan lusa man simna luta mon fika prino kesan foli kuna kari man fispa luka kon kari mira dom. Sad, What's he angry saying? face. Nothing good. Huka fon pisa tula ini komi. Pita man sutalon farima kunu. Pita man yute fakali no fika plum notika. Pita man foko basa. <laughs> Samigon di vampulu! Listen, tree head. There's been some kind of uh, misunderstanding. For the high crimes of trespassing and murder in the first degree, I take the power that is vested in me by the city of Gold Harbor to sentence these intruders to death. If you're gonna do it, get on with it. Donna. Silence! This chamber need not hear from you. Solomon. Wait! Don't you want to know how we got here? We will find out in time. You'll never know if you kill us. I've got information. We don't need your information. We've got your entry vehicle. Butika Vasika. It's only a matter of time before we learn who sent you. This is going to be my little suit.
the Wilhelm scream there. There's an opening. Come on, let's go. Kill and kill her. My ears are still ringing. This is mental. Run all three Just together. How They'll weird is it that we all have here. one leg shorter than the other and run like this? That finger exploded. That was yours. How do you know they bring that up out of the ground? What? I didn't. I'm just winging it like you. Are you serious? I thought that was part of some grand plan. So we actually almost died back then. We got lucky. Look, we're not out of the woods yet. They've sounded some sort of alarm. The whole city will be on alert. This cannot be happening. What are we going to do? Just run. This new Sims expansion is wild, dude. To kick some butt, maybe. Jump! Wait! Oh, run! oh dear. Uh, everyone, all right? Oh, God, I didn't do that in my old body. Oh, I think the table broke my fall. Yeah, well, I'm pretty sure I landed directly on the concrete. Oh. What the hell are you doing in my house? There pack? she is. Samantha? Who are you? Vilas Blackhawk! Behind here. Go! Man. Let's go, Omni. Zinni Danu. Flank. Primni knock. You can come up now. You're Samantha. Haven't heard that name in a long time. So let me get this straight. Peter Hale sent you. That's right. Little Pete. Oh, that's a blast from the past. And weird. What a simp. I'm surprised he still remembers me. I'm, what's it been, 40 years? Hmm. You mean you're not childhood sweethearts? <laughs> what? No, I mean, Pete was okay, but no. He didn't think that, did he? He did pour his entire fortune into find you. Shut up. Is he rich? What am I gonna oh, do now he's that? more than all right, is he? Hey, she's like, nah, little Pete. Well, I mean, he's put his whole fortune in. You what? How much? How much has he got? You've been through a lot. Do you have anyone you can stay with? A relative or what car does he drive? Maybe. Eh? Everyone's dead. I feel like I should be crying. I should be, shouldn't I? It's the adrenaline. As soon as we're safe, you can take some time to process everything that's happened. Man, it'll be insane, like, if her people Listen, don't come back somehow with some trickery, right? You. If she's just on her own as her ending, way, that would be pretty, I don't uh, want to go back. Different. I didn't want saving. My life's here. Of course, after 38 years. Maybe 20 years ago, I would have been jumping for joy, but not now. Too much has changed. i got a husband, kids, wow. this place. You understand, right? You'd want to see, though, wouldn't you? 38 years away from Earth, if you went in the 80s, you'd want to come back and see how stuff had changed. I think I do. 
I'm sorry that Pete is stuck in the past, but Jesus, it was 40 years ago. Let it go, mate. Life moves on. I know. Some people don't want to let go. Hung up, bro. I feel sorry for them. How can you feel happy with your lot if you're always looking back? Mm -mm. It's not healthy. Right. <laughs> Look at me, the philosopher. No, you are right, though. I think I've been guilty of that. I wanted this job more than anything. I thought that it would change things. <sighs> what a mess. People have been hurt. Killed, even. Shit. Amy. Dan must hate me for what I've done to him. And for what he doesn't What's know What's she going to do about it, Mina? Jesus. What's wrong with me? Okay. Armchair philosopher, maybe, but definitely not a therapist. Sorry. I'm just having a mini meltdown We killed here. the therapist. Take it from me. It's never too late to pull it back. Anyway, what shall I tell Hale? If I get back, that is. Not that I give much of a shit anymore. <laughs> tell Pete that... I don't know. Tell him it's very sweet of him to do all this. Actually, don't say that. It sounds too condescending. That was a little. Glad you realised. Tell him you're dead. Tell him you weren't here. Break it to him gently. I mean, does he deserve the truth? I don't know. Probably. I could just tell him that you're married with kids, but from time she to time, she moved on, and so should him. you. Something like that. That works. I'll tell you what. If I survive this operation, I'll come right? around and make sure you're okay. All right. So you're definitely gonna swap back into your old body. Gotsta. I can't just let Jack die. What about your daughter, though? Didn't you say child services would take her away? I don't know. Oh, boy. Okay, it's getting on. I can't keep the bar shut for much longer without starting a riot. Plus, happy hour is starting soon, so this place is going to get hectic. We get it. You've done more than enough. Thank you. Okay. Well, listen. The only way you're going to get out of here is through the portal chamber. What's that? The entrance is this big, ostentatious opening that looks like a flower. I mean, you really can't miss it. I know it. That's the way I came in. All right, but while we're here, guys, Sam, can you explain why no that guy was kidnapping people and had wings? What's Probably going on? even more so after what you did earlier. I'm not sure how you expect to get past them unnoticed. How are we going to get past them unnoticed? It is what it is. It's Mina's job. We'll think of something. Well. Oh, that luck. was who I was answering as. Big old flower butt. Um, thank you for the 250 bits. An anonymous cheer. Appreciate okay. you. We got two armed guards. What are you thinking? Take them out. Mm, bit dangerous. But yes. I'm not sure we've got a choice. It's fine, I'm former SAS. Someone needs to create a diversion. <sighs> I could do this. Be brave, John. John! Hey! Fellas! What's he playing at? Come and have a go if you think you're hard enough. And I. Uh, well, where are we all? Oh shit! John, idiot! Okay, let's move! Donna, go back and get John. Time for Mina to throw some gone. hands. It's gonna be a quick time event. The boost thing is so weird. It's the one thing in this game that's the one imperfection, like feels like a mobile game. What? Like this is that's not needed this bit. Just have him run. I don't need to click the buttons to feel involved in this. I'm invested already, you know. 
My one little, my one little constructive crit there. Roast. I wish I was too old for this shit. Indiana Jones, if you John. Mina's in trouble. Come on. I knew it. She's already sparked him out. Didn't even need to see it. She ain't in trouble. Jesus. She took them all out. Bloody hell, Mina. Come on. We're leaving. She's like, what's four more bodies to my tally? come back in and find her making a necklace out of alien fingers. I'm like, what? Mina, what are you doing? Souvenirs. It's like a human predator visiting alien worlds and just taking skulls. Come on. Let's go. So, so curious how this all wraps up, and I, it better wrap up, I tell you. <laughs> if this leaves me with any loose threads, I need answers so bad. Are we just going to walk here in silence, then? What do you want to talk about? Hmm. Everything. Literally everything. What was that place? Why is it underground here? How many other people know about it? Are we safe? Are they going to come for us? It doesn't matter. It's done now. Donna's right. And it's probably a good idea none of us speak of this again. Mm. Why? I don't ever want to think about that place again. John, listen. There are people who will make you shut up, alright? Take it from me. <sighs> Fine. I'm going to go on that conspiracy podcast and tell them all. Anyway. I don't know what you're complaining about. You got what you came for, didn't you? Have you decided what you're going to do? Oh my god, it's a decision that we have to make. We have to switch back, I think. I know it's, like, so risky, but it's... Come on, these these guys are bros now. They've been through so much. He would do it for him, I think. Oh, I can't believe that's a choice. I, I really hope he doesn't go in the body and... You know. That's a big choice. I like how it turned blue, like actually being to say, this is a choice, by the way. I'll be no. back. Hello, darling. He's a Jedi now. What do you want? You killed me. You let me down. Get out of my house. I've come to give you one last chance to redeem yourself. For what you've done. You killed them all. Get out. But I can bring them back, Donna. I just need something from you. Mm, don't know about a that. promise. A contract. <sighs> when you this eventually meet devil. your end, five, ten, it's fifty the years life. time from now, you'll join me here. You get to live the rest of your pathetic life with those who you call family and friends. But after that, you're mine. Forever. Agree to the deal. Don't give him what he wants. What would you do? I mean, I want everyone back, but I do not trust this guy anymore. No. I won't do it. I don't care what you say. I'm not doing anything for you. You disappoint me, Donna. You hear me? Get out! I never want to see you again. And you never will. What a complete mess! Damn You've it. really embarrassed me here. I vouched for you, remember? I gave you your shot and this is what you do. As I said, she didn't want to come back. What if it was a test? You expect me to believe that? I've had enough. 
We're done here. I'm putting you in a different department. It doesn't seem like I can trust you with anything important. Mate, she doesn't love you. Don't bother. I quit. I only came so I could have the satisfaction of saying. Listen, it to just your because face. you spend your entire fortune no, trying to travel to an alien world and have a whole team of people and technology no, to get there and do it does not mean that that woman owes you anything, you sir. Have me whacked. Just try it. Some people be, you know, feel that way after buying dinner. But you know what, Peter? I imagine they would make for good reading material for you know, the people French. down at Scotland Yard. You set me up. It's just business, Hughes. Now, do as you're told. Quit and face the music, swallow pride, protect the family. Do you know what? I think we protect the family because we have done bad stuff, and it is you have got to protect your fam here, I think. I don't know. I hate giving Peter what he wants, but... I think she owes it to her family at this point. I think learning to swallow her pride is uh, a bigger sort of development for that character, but... You know... Otherwise it's off to jail, isn't it? Um, Bry, thank you so much for the 65, dude. Appreciate it. We'll be back in our body. Why oh, is in a wheelchair? Fresh out of hospital, maybe. See you later, Jack. We survived. Later, Molly. On Thursday, yeah? Yeah. Catch you later. We're mate. mates now. Alright. Last one home's a rotten turnip. Best ending. At least we didn't mess that one up. Feel like I screwed up the other two choices. <laughs> I already regret my choices. Please don't. Come on, give me something, game. I'm regretting these other two. She's gonna become an independent woman. Clean this place up. You got this, Donna. with the development for her doing it for her family, but if it's going to be a sad one, then I regret it for her. Better than jail, though, isn't it? Or is it? Isn't this just like a jail? Cubicle employment? That's why you do it. Worth it. She dropping him back, they separated. Mm. Had to happen, really. Damn. I like that for her, though. Do it for the kid. The portal. It's fine, in my head canon she plots to secretly kill Peter at a later date. Cuts his brakes, you know? Oh, is this the podcast guy? It is, isn't it? So good, dude. What, like, the, literally the indie games that we're playing at the moment are some of the best games we've played in years. 
like the last two weeks have been absolute fire with these games. This was amazing. This was so good. Trailer did not do this game justice. Played it anyway because their last game was amazing. And this was better. This is this surpassed Virginia in so many ways and was just incredible.